elevated sign at the side of the road that says 15 miles to the Went through and looked at the history of the SOL. 
we've uh, ah. we've retired many a tag team. We've we've broken backs. We've put people in the hospital. We're I mean, you go back and I'm gonna throw some names out here. The Rough and Ready Rodeo Company. We broke them up. One one guy, he's never come back to wrestle. He's terrified of it. We got uh, Eric Benjamin and uh, Evan Acid. Them guys, we beat the snot out of them in Selvin a couple years back. I haven't that. hardly heard a hair out of either one of them. I mean, we we've just we've pretty boy. We beat. We just pummeled the crap out of anybody we got in the ring with. We're, we don't we don't go technical with everything. I mean, we're bringing Anthony Anthony Blaze in the mix with the, with the two of us. We're forced to reckon with because we all love to fight, and that's that's just how we are. Oh, I know you can't sell that Anthony Blaze short now. He's a tough competitor. All three of y'all, the coalition, better be. You know, if they call themselves on Mac technicians, what they do, that's not going to help them that night because it's going to be all break out in hell on war. That's all I can say. That's right. It's just going to be, you know, it's going to be one of the best matches of the night. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I'm going to turn you all over to Al. I'm sure he's got some questions. Chomping at the bit. Thank you, Bully. Thank you, Scotty. All right. Thank you. Yeah, boy, we want, uh, it's going to be great uh, having you back in, uh, back in FW with the FSOL. And uh, we got a lot of comments in the FW Nation. They're, they're, uh, said they can't wait to see the all three members of the FSOL together. Now, I'll tell you what, uh, with you three against the coalition, I know you're going to give them all, set, you know, knock them off their high horse. But uh, have, are you familiar with any other coalition members? Well, I've, I've, I've actually been in the ring with uh, Dyron Flynn on one occasion. Um, I, I've saw some of Chad Stalling stuff on YouTube. He, he's very talented, and uh, I saw um, Daniel Heed the one time in a match. Uh, uh, I'm just not really impressed with a whole lot of mat wrestling. You know, it's you know our style of wrestling is more conducive of what NFW is all about. I think you know it, it, it has its place and its time for you know, all the high flying and all the you know catches catch can stuff as they used to call it. But uh, you know that's what else about fighting. And you know we're not going to work their type of match. You know we're, 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 they're going to come into our world, and that, that's where the difference is. It's gonna be great. Well, I I I'd, I'd really I really like to see uh, when they try to do Matt wrestling. Like I really like to see uh, four foot three uh, Dyron Flynn try to put a headlock on Big Bull <laughs> Lee because he can barely reach his toes. So he maybe maybe get a toe hold in, but I, I don't think it's gonna be much more than that. <laughs> I think they're gonna get a lesson. They got a pretty good lesson the last time. They got as good as they sent that night. Oh yeah, it, it's gonna be great. Like I said, you know, Scott, the hardcore cowboy Scotty Wolf, Owensboro Outlaw Anthony Blaze, Big Bull Lee, going up against uh, Dyron Flynn, Chad Stallings, and uh, Daniel Eats. Six man tag match with special referee uh, Big Al. <laughs> I keep that uh, Nick Iggy. I don't know if he'll be there or not. I'm pretty sure he will be sticking his little. Uh, I got my own here, man. You know. I, I think after I after I cracked that uh, yeah. crutch over over his knee and he cried like a baby, and I think he peed himself. <laughs> He, he was one of many that that night that, that had uh, had a bowel movement of uh, some sort. Uh, I'm sorry, Wesley. It just that's what happens when uh, you first start out. But um, yeah, I, I really doubt Nick's going to show up. Uh, he, he's kind of showed his cowardice. But uh, yeah, I tell you what, uh, Scotty and Bull, uh, Chad Stolly just called and left a message on the phone a while ago, and. Uh, I guess I'm sure y'all like to hear what he says. So, Charles, if you don't care, I'm going to play uh, Chad Stallings' message real quick, okay? Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm sure he's got something to run his mouth about. April 20th, 2013, New Focus Wrestling, SOL versus the Coalition. The Big Al is a special referee. Al, I don't know if you volunteered or if you were chosen to be the special referee.
one-man workhorse, Dyer of Flynn, and a statement of solo with Chad Stallings. And I'm telling you, you're not going to like what's coming to you in that ring. Johnny Richards, I know you're there. For some reason you think you're on the place. I don't like you. That's all I need to say about that. Uh, you're nobody. You're never going to be anybody. The only reason to the NFW champion is Chad Stallings made you the NFW champion. Y'all want to believe that? Go back and watch the tape. Ask Flash Flanagan. He knows. Stallings out. See you April 20th. Marks. So he said... Tuesday, Can't be uh, trusted. 17 p.m. 1, 2, erase. No, that's it. So, uh, hey, Bull, Scotty, what do you think about his remarks as far as not being able to trust each other or even me? Well, Big words from a little man. That's, that's all I know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, too. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I, now, I know you could, tr you know, as far as your uh, tag team with uh, Anthony Blaze and, and Bull, I'm sure you know. I'll have your thoughts too, Scotty, on as far as trusting people. Well, as, as far as as far as trusting the people, I've known Bull for a long time. I've known Anthony Blaze even longer. We all have a like-minded view and how we do things. We have a like-minded idea about what we're doing because we're not just looking at this match. We're looking at what's going to go on down the road and what's going to happen because we know there's a unification match coming up with yeah. uh, the tag titles with yeah. uh, Johnny Whiplash and Tempest and Brandon Espinosa and Ace Hawkins. Yeah. And uh, honestly, it, it, you know, we may show up and just go ahead and just take all four titles, just take them, take them for ourselves and beat everybody up, just <clears throat> make it an SOL invasion. But There you go. I mean, we're, we're, we're coinciding with uh, the wrecking crew uh, I'm wearing the shirt now uh, you may not not agree with our manager uh, Trey T-Rex but we're slowly uh, forming allegiances with him and uh, Gator McAllister and um, we're just we're gonna we're gonna end up eventually being a force to reckon with I mean I got a message from Anthony Blaze uh, uh, sent to me he wanted me to pass along he, he's, he couldn't make it today but um, he's uh, Anthony's kind of irritated. He's wound up uh, this, this last deal with uh, <clears throat> not being able to pick our, our, our uh, tag partners and uh, losing out because of it. Uh, it's got him a little on edge. Uh, basically, what he's telling me, uh, he said, we've been nice for way too long, uh, trying to shoot for the <clears throat> fans, fans' attention. And uh, I know the fans are bloodthirsty, and we're going we're gonna to give them, give them one heck of a fight. I, I know uh, we're just... Being out, the Owensboro Outlaw and the Hardcore Cowboy, they're, they're not just nicknames. Uh, we, earned, we earned them. We earned them honest by God. We, we earned them by beating the snot out of people and just kicking the shit out of anybody and everybody we can. So for Chad Stallings and Lucky Charms Dyron and the Man of Steel, I hate to break the news to you, but we're bringing the biggest blacksmith on God's green earth going to come, and he's going to bend the steel down into a little little ornament. It's, I mean, you uh, you got anything you want to add, Bull? Oh, uh, you pretty well summed it up, brother. Okay, hey, Bull, we want to thank you for being on here, also. But uh, before we before we let you go, I'm sure Charles, do you have anything you want to say to Bull before you let him go? I just want to say, Bull, welcome back. It's been a long time. We'll be glad to see you. All the NFW Nation is ready to see you. And I'm sure you're going to let, let it loose that night like you always do. I know. Uh, I'm happy to be back, Charles. Thank you. Well, we're glad to have you back, buddy. Okay, Bull, is there anything, anything you want to say to the NFW Nation before we uh, let yeah. you go? Well, yeah. Um, NFW Nation, just let me say this. If you are not there April 20th, it's your own fault. Uh, now, you need to go out, you need to, you know, go tell your neighbors, you need to go tell their neighbors, you need to have them bring their friends and tell them that they need to come watch the public execution of the coalition, because that's exactly what it's going to be. And that's all I'm going to say about that. All right. Words from Big Bull Lee. And uh, I'll tell you what, boy, we're looking forward to seeing you there April 20th, and uh, we want to thank you for being on here also, and... Uh, and like I said, uh, the Wrecking Crew, right? Yeah, we're, we're, it's Wrecking Crew slash SOL. I mean, we're Wrecking Crew slash SOL against uh, the Coalition April 20th. And uh, I'll tell you what, you got three guys right there that, that aren't afraid of anybody that are coming right, come right straight at you. So I, 
you know, it's going to be great. So, uh, Bobby, we want to thank you for being on here. And like I said, we're looking forward to seeing you April 20th in NFW Nation. Can't wait to see you, my friend. Thank you very much. See you later. Thank take you, take care. I'll take call you later, guys. Bull. See Don't worry, the 20th, I'm Brian bringing it. the ladder. <laughs> All right, Charles. Yes, sir. Okay, that, that big bull league coming back in FW, direct and crew slash SOL. I tell you what, that, that match there is it, going to be nothing but a fight. I mean, and I'll tell you what, I, I'm looking forward to seeing that because I'm, I think the coalition built off more than what they can chew. Well, you're going to see it, it all right. You're going to be I'll right there what. in the middle of the ring. What's that? I said, you're going to see it okay. You're going to be right in the middle of the ring with them. Oh, well, Charles, I, Charles that's, that's if we even make it to the ring. They may not even make it. Well, that's it. true. That's we true. May, we may start it in the back and work our way. We may work all over the building. We, don't, we just don't know yet. <laughs> just don't hurt the ref, okay? Uh, <laughs> I'll stay out of your way. Believe me, I will stay out of your way. I will stay out of your way. Well, you just got to keep it right down the middle. Uh, it'd be right down the middle, all right. All right. It'd be right down the middle. I'll tell you what, Charles, April 20th, NFW presents April Aftermath at the Metro Sports Center, 5820 Metro Drive, Evansville, Indiana, bell time 730. We've got a lot of great matches. The Domino, Cliff Compton's coming back, taking on the NFW Tri-State Champion Bobo Brazil Jr. for the Tri-State title. It's going to be great. Uh, we got a newcomer, Athena, making her NFW debut. She's taking on... Uh, <laughs> Crazy Mary Dobson in a uh, women's match. I'll tell you what, that's going to be one heck of a match no, there. I'm, I'm going to be peeking through the curtains oh. to watch this match. Cause, that, that, uh, that's going to be great. It's going to be great. Just seeing the stuff from Mary Dobson. I don't know much about Athena, but Mary Dobson, she's she's a monster in the ring. Oh, it, she's tough. She's tough. Then we got the uh, Flash Flanagan again, and Rain has returned again. The dangerous one, Doug Gilbert, taking on J.P. Lightning and a member of the coalition, uh, Sebastian Harris. And I'll tell you what, he's lucky. I think... Well, I don't want to say lucky because if he's not in there with you, he's going up against Flash Flanning and Doug Gilbert. So, he, I, you know, I, I, I'd, I'd be worried of that bad. It may come into contact. Yeah, the Louisville Slugger is making his way back to the NFW. Then we got Gator McAllister taking on uh, Madman himself, the hard hardcore icon, Madman Pondo. Oh, you, you, uh, that's going to be great. I mean, <laughs> we seen what he did last week, last show with him and uh, Raven taking on Compton and uh, Gator. They, they really kicked butt. Then, like I said, we got the six-man tag match. Anthony Blaze, Scotty Wolf, and uh, Big Bull Lee taking on members of the coalition in the six-man tag with special ref Big Al. And we got other wrestlers. We got Canadian Kid coming back. Uh, Chloe Epiphany's coming back. Oh, yeah, we got the unification match. Brandon Espinosa and Ace Hawkins, which is our uh, No Limits Tag Team Champions, taking on NFW t Champions uh, Tempest and uh, Johnny Whiplash in a unification match, which be great. Now, you're looking for them belts too, I sure. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, it's, yeah. it's 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 on there. I mean, there, there there's not a belt that's uh, not not on the line that uh, we're not looking at. Oh yeah, and we got T Buck coming back also. Um, uh, Canadian Kid, River City uh, Saints, which is Tempest and Whiplash. Uh, Benny Bray, he's got the uh, No Limits title. Bishop will be there. Jose Kane making his return, and plus more. Like I said, uh, you know, it's it's gonna be great. It, it, it is gonna be great. Uh, plus, also we got, uh, like I said, merchandise for sale. Uh, we're gonna have the new NFW hats. A lot of people have been commenting on them. And like, we also want to thank our sponsors, which is Evansville Tire, Greeks Pizzeria, Jan's Fashion and Costumes, and Brother Side Incorporated, TJ Scrap Dealer. Woo, can you read that little in my mouth? Oh my, I ain't see. got my glasses. I'm an old timer. We got we got rave entertainment. Rave entertainment. Rave entertainment. There you go. So I whew, tell you what, Charles. All that and more NFW April aftermath, April twentieth. It's it's gonna oh, be yeah. great. I mean, it's be a um, great night. What's that? It's gonna be a great night of wrestling action right there at the Metro Center. Oh yeah. They also, we like I said, we got uh, uh, Johnny Richards. Taking on Victor Bruce Lewis in a uh, first blood, first ever first blood match as the main event. So I'll tell you what, you know, you, actually. It's, 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 you got fans bring the weapons on that yeah, too. Oh, yeah, fans bring the weapons, first blood match. I'm so looking forward to it. I'm, I'm thinking about bringing some of my toys out just, just, to, just to see them beat the snot out of each other because, man, I've, 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 been wor I've been working the road a little bit, working with uh, Vic and. Uh, Johnny Richards watching some of the matches they've had out outside of Evansville, and man, they've been beating that bloody snot out of each other. Oh, and Rich, and you know. this 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 one here, it's going to be off the charts now. It's it's going to be something. 
It's, it's going to be something, like I said, we, almost every match is like a main event. You know, you got the NFW Heavyweight title, you got the Unification titles, you got the Tri State title, you got the women's match, you got the six man tag match with Special Referee, the coalition against uh, the Wrecking Crew slash SOL, and many, many, and much, much more. You know, I'm sure uh, Benny Bray will have his uh, No Limits title there, T Boat. Uh, Bishop, Jose Kane making his debut back again, or making his return, along with Doug Gilbert making his return. I mean, Charles, it, April aftermath. I tell you what, it, it, it's going to be one heck of a uh, one heck of an event. I mean, it's it's going to be great. It's going to be a show to remember. I tell you, like you said, every match is a main event. So oh, get those it, tickets, get them great. early, get those seats, get there for a good night of wrestling action. Oh, it, it's going it's going it's going to be off the hook. So it, it's going to be fun for the family. I'll tell you that. Fun oh, yeah. for the whole family. So I'll tell you what, before, before we end it, before Charles spread the love, I'm sure you got one last thing to say to the NFW Nation about your match. Oh, man, you know, NFW Nation, man, you know you know how I am. I'm <laughs> all fired up when I come in the ring, and uh, I just got one question. And you know everybody that's been there, they know me. They know what that question is. <clears throat> Are you ready for a fight? Because, man, everybody, everybody there is going to be ready for it. We're going to be amped up. We're just going to tear it up and just, it's just going to, it's going to rock it out like there is no tomorrow. We're going we're to drop it like it's the end of the world. There you go. Words from hardcore cowboy Scotty Wolf, member of the Breaking Crew in SOL, about his six-man tag match. Whew. I tell you what, Charles, um, we pretty well went over everything. I don't know if there's anything else you want to say to the NFW Nation before we go. Yes, sir. I just want to tell them that now. You might think this is over, but let me tell you something, NFW Nation. This is the first time this has ever happened on the NFW Love Shack show. Yeah. Albert gave me an assignment. He said, Charles, I want you to see if you can pull this off. And by golly, I did, Albert. What's that? Go ahead. As soon as this is over, we're going to spread the love, but we're coming back with you with a special guest star, somebody you've been wanting to see, somebody you've been wondering about. That's right. Coming back. I got him coming right up here, Albert. Okay. Well, Scotty, I want to thank you for being here, and we're looking forward for your match. Uh, I'm sure the Native the Nation is going to be ready for a fight. I'm sure they are. I hope they are. And uh, <clears throat> with you, Anthony Blaze, and uh, Bully, I tell you what, I, like I said, uh, I feel sorry for, for I feel sorry for Coalition. Uh, I, like I said, I think they've been off more than what they can chew. Uh, April aftermath, April twentieth, Metro Sports Center. Whew, bell time seven thirty on Saturday night. Charles, I tell you what, uh, like I said, we got the second part of Love Shack coming up with this very special guest that the NFA Nation is going to love to hear from. So I'll tell you what, before we start that, if you want to go ahead and spread the love, my friend, it's all yours. I sure do. And once again, come out there April twentieth at the Metro Center. Going to be a go. fine show. Mama Rich got all the talent coming in. Scotty, I'm looking forward to seeing you and Big Bull Lee and my buddies. I grew up with and the belt that I have a lot of respect for. 
But the thing we're really looking forward to, Rob, is getting you back. But before we talk about that, I do have one one question for you. I know you wrestled, I'm going to try to say this and not butcher it, the Tokyo Monster, Kahakas. Would you say he yeah. was one of the toughest competitors ever? He was, he was pretty tough. I mean, that definitely was a, a, a earned victory. I came away uh, with the championship belt, but I came away with a lot more bruises and scratches and cuts than I've had in years. So it was definitely definitely wasn't uh, it wasn't an opponent that that I dominated. I mean, I pretty much pretty much got my ass kicked the whole match and was lucky enough to uh, have enough uh, energy to hit him with the spear and then hit him with the ego trip and that's really, you know, the two moves that it took when it was all said and done after getting hit with the chair five times kendo wow. stick you know, about 30 chops and just to endure that and then come back with, you know, and have the energy and the power to pretty much hit two moves and become the NBA World Heavyweight Champion uh, after a beating I took for about 25 minutes. I mean, I'll be honest with you, you know, normally that doesn't happen. You know, you don't see me getting uh, getting the, the short end of the stick in matches that often, but when it was all said and done, I was very proud, proud to be the world's heavyweight champion. And I'm, I tell you what, I've got a big match coming up, a pay-per-view. You know, I'll be representing NWA, representing NFW. Got a big pay-per-view coming up at New Japan Pro Wrestling on April the... Seventh in Tokyo. Wow, and hopefully I can get through that. If I can get through that, then I'm obligated on April 20th to go to Houston and defend the NWA the World's Heavyweight Championship against Chris Masters. And that's the only reason that I wouldn't be at NFW in Evansville, Indiana, at the Metro Sports Complex because I have an obligation to, you know, the NWA. Well, we so, certainly uh, understand that. Well, Rob, what I want to ask you, a lot of people out there don't know, but this actually, you wasn't even prepared for this match. Am I correct in that, in asking you that? Yeah, I'm the, uh, I mean, I wrestle at the NWA uh, branded Outlaw Wrestling in San Antonio, but I'm also the general manager there. I signed a year contract uh, four months ago to be the general manager of their shows. Mm -hmm. an event and that night I wasn't going to wrestle I was just uh, going to you know I was the general manager I actually made the match between the world champion Cahagas and uh, Jack Dane who's the number one contender in Texas for the NWA championship and then he got jumped before the match by five guys in which they actually hit his chair or hit his ankle with a chair twice he was unable to compete and the NWA president, along with Jax, Jax asked for me, because we're really good friends, to be able to take his spot. So, I mean, it was literally right before the match. They had two more matches they put on, and we ended up going on in the main event. So it was a big surprise to everybody for me to even have that match. Well, I know I was certainly surprised, and you know, it goes with that old theory. It's a, it's a football theory, but it's like, like, you know, like they say, any given Sunday. And man, you're definitely a tough competitor. I mean, I would n not rather see anybody have that belt than you. You've worked hard. You're always a professional. You're a gentleman. You're everything that this sport needs. And you're a role model for the young people. And I'm just glad you're, you're talking to us tonight. I'm glad you're the world champion. I'm glad you're part of NFW, Rob. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate all that. I mean, I think that just goes to show NFW Nation the kind of caliber of athletes that we have here in New Focus Wrestling. For a New Focus Wrestling superstar such as myself, I mean, a person who, you know, bleeds the green and black here at New Focus to be able to go out and become the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. You know, I've and and I've had my shares of victories and had my shares of defeats. You know, as a matter of fact, I've lost before in New Focus Wrestling to Master Rich, Johnny Richards. I've lost in the past to Vic the Bruiser. I believe that's the only two I can think of. But I'm just saying, now I'm the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, so it gives you an idea of the caliber of athletes that we have in New Focus that I haven't just run through our roster. That you know, I've had my battles, and I've you know with some of the best and then to become the NWA World Heavyweight Champion just shows you what where our guys are. I mean, they're looking at me right now and I'm the world champion. So New Focus Wrestling brings in the top talent in the world, but we have some of the top talent that are there, you know, every single month. I mean, on our roster, me, Vic the Bruiser, Flash Flanagan, Johnny Richards, I mean, just to name a few.
Absolutely, and I'll tell you, we do. We have a great roster. Uh, we've got Pondo back now. We've got uh, Cliff Compton, which he's a tough competitor. But the thing is, there's a lot of stuff that's happened since you've been gone. Johnny Richards is kind of it's, it's kind of weird, man. It's, he's came back to somewhat of his senses, and I'm going to tell you what, he's a tough, tough competitor. As a matter of fact, the first words out of his mouth, I spoke to him right after that, and he says, you know, he says, I've wrestled Rob before, and he says, uh, just let Rob know that there's a target on his back. So you got a lot of guys, you know, jokingly, but you got a lot of guys, man, they're after your title, and, and I'm so glad you're in NFW, you know, and, and representing our company. Like I said, we got Rich, we got Vic, we got Cliff, we got a bunch of guys, but man, you know what? We got the best company. I'm going to stick my neck out, maybe not. Everybody will agree with me, but I think we got one of the best companies, if not the best company in the Midwest, and we're glad to have all you guys. Well, I think you hit the nail on the head right there. There's a huge target on my back, but it's something I've been used to because of not just the NW World Heavyweight Champion, but you know I've been the New oh, yeah. Focus Heavyweight Champion. And when you're a New Focus, that's that's the main that's the main target. Everybody wants to be a champion. When you go somewhere and somebody asks you, so you wrestle, right? You're, you're the Ironman, right? And then they say, are you the champion? I mean, you want to be able to say yes, you know, because if you're you're wrestling New Focus Wrestling and you're not the champion, then you're not the best. That's absolutely right. You know, right now in New Focus Wrestling, you know, no, Johnny Richards is the best. He's a champion. He's the best to come down the pike in a long time. And I'm going to tell you something, Rob. Like I told you, a lot of things have changed. And the reason for the change of heart, and Johnny, I, you, you know, I'm not going to keep you on here forever, but this coalition, man, and I feel kind of bad about that because I brought one of these guys in, Nick Iggy. They're just running the muck, Rob. I mean, I, I don't know what it is. And it's just, I don't know if you know, but they're kind of just being, you know, a little bit too cocky. So, uh, what's your feelings on those guys? And then I'm, I'm gonna, not going to keep you. Well, the last time I wrestled Johnny Richards, those guys interrupted our match. And they made their debut, they banded together and said they wanted to get noticed. So, I, I mean, I think that was one of the turning points in, in uh, Rich's attitude. He saw where, hey, you know, these guys are punks. They haven't paid any dues. They're young guys that want more than what they deserve. So then me and him, uh, you know, we decided that we were on the same page again. You know, we Absolutely. And then, you know, we have a lot of respect for each other and always have. You know, even when we were going against each other, he's, you know, the best partner I've had in New Focus Wrestling and he's been the toughest opponent I've had in New Focus Wrestling. So I think that the coalition, the main thing about them is, see, they, they want things now, and they don't want to pay their dues. They don't want to earn them. Exactly. You know, I mean, I just, I hear coalition, I hear, and I hear colon a lot in there when I hear that. Cause I just think of those guys. That's what I, that's what I keep thinking of. I'm thinking, man, these guys, you know, that's what they are. They're just, uh, you know. Oh, I, I'm going to have to agree with, well, I'm going to tell you something. I don't know if you knew this or not, but that night, as you know, Al and I, we wear many hats at the show. And I was, I don't forget what I was doing, but it was something. And, and uh, all of a sudden I heard, I don't know if you know this or not, I heard uh, the Iron Man theme song. And I thought, well, Rob, would, I wouldn't know if Rob's going to be here. And show you how cocky these guys are. Not only did he play your music, but Daniel Leeds, Rich and I like to call him the handsome the kid, he comes out wearing a Just Look At Me Now t-shirt. What do you got to say about that, Rob? <coughs> Then you can buy the T-shirt, you can buy the glasses, you can wear them, and you can go to the ring in them, but doesn't mean you're going to perform like the Iron Man. You know, they can go out Amen. and buy them a new Focus T-shirt and a Johnny Richards T-shirt, and they can play, put it on, and they can go to the ring, but don't mean that they're going to perform like Johnny Richards. That's right, you know, my friend. There's a reason why we've gotten the spots that we've got, and that's because we earned them. And it all goes back to these guys taking shortcuts. Hey, let me go buy somebody else's shirt. Let me let come out to their music. Probably the best reaction that guy will ever get in his career is when he came out to my music. I'll agree with you. Because like now, you said, he wants it now. He don't want to work for it. And I know you worked hard. Not gonna have a, he's, the guy's not going to have a long career if he doesn't pay his dues. And when he bites off more than he can chew, I mean, you gotta you got to learn that you get better, get more seasoned, 
And then you get in there with the top guys. There's a reason why we're the top guys. That's right. You get in there too fast. You get in those matches too fast. You bite off more than you can chew. And people say, yeah, I remember that guy. He wrestled for a year or so, and then he got hurt. And, and now, you know, he's, he's uh, flipping burgers and coming to the show and sitting in the back telling people how big and strong he used to be the time that he got in the ring with us. And, and uh, he's got another another loss on his belt. But, you know, there's something to be said. Like I said, me and Rich had our problems over the years, but there was never a lack of respect because I know what he's been through. Same way with Flash Flanagan, same way with Vic the Bruiser. All those guys, we've had our differences, we've hated each other, we've been friends, but there's never been a lack of respect because I know the dues that they paid over the last 15, 20 years. These guys have no respect. So what it all is going to come down to is either we're going to have to teach them respect or we're going to have to beat some respect into them. That's right. I, I've known Rich since pretty much his career started. I'm going to tell you about respect for him. Then I'm going to say one more thing, and then we're going to let you go, and we appreciate you being here. But when Rich was starting out, and I'm, go I'm going to tell something. He might get mad at me at this, but this is the truth I ever told it. I'm an older guy, and I'm not ashamed of that. Do you know that that kid would meet me at the door and literally carry my bags in and literally carry them out? And I said, you don't have to do that. He goes, no, you're my elder, and I respect you. Those guys know nothing about that. I've got a theory. When you start thinking you're good, that's as good as you're going to get right there because you stop trying. You're not hungry anymore. To use a cliche, you don't have the eye of the tiger. But, Rob, I'm not going to keep going on about those guys because all that's doing is making them sit there in their little glory hound uh, sitting there thinking they're somebody when they're not. But, listen, thank you very much. Mama Rich, you know, she, she's going to be so glad that you're here and coming back. And thank you so much for taking the time out to be on our show. It's about your gym time, isn't it? Uh, it's getting close, but i tell you something. There's nothing that's going to keep me from coming there in May. I will be back. I don't care what's going on. I'm coming to New Focus Wrestling. And there's a good chance that I'm going to be somehow involved in something with the coalition, because that's what, really what I want. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I will so be back, glad to hear it. and I will be the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. I don't care who they put in front of me. I work too hard to get it to go losing it anytime soon. I know that's right. Well, Rob, thank you very much. Have a good workout, and uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you in May. And, uh, Al, you got anything to say to the Iron Man before he hangs up? Yeah, Rob, I, I just want to congratulate you, and also thank you for being on here. It's an honor to have the Iron Man uh, on the Love Shack. And, uh, like I said, congratulations. Good luck on your future the NWA also world title. And we are looking forward to seeing you, hopefully in May, and to uh, kick some coalition butt, my friend. Let's do it the Conway in May. There you Don't go. Forget. Do it the Conway. That's the best way to go. Right thank thank still, you very much, Rob. It's, it's an honor to have you on here. Fantastic going to be a fantastic event like all new focus wrestling events are you're going to have some great talent there so if you live in evansville if you live in princeton if you live in owensboro it doesn't matter if you live in chicago drive down be at new focus wrestling on april go. the 20th i'll be there in spirit and then i'll be there for sure in may there you go thank you thank you and we, we'll see you in may rob thanks rob take, take care guys take care iron man take care champ well, Al, well, what do you think about that? Did I do a good assignment for uh, you? I had the Iron Man for you. I owe you one, Charles. I owe you one, so I'm going to have to pay you back, ain't I? Well, we always, that's kind of how we do things. Like the young folks say, that's how we roll, Big Al. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but we're not done yet, Charles. We're not done yet. We're not. What you I'll got tell you what, you had your surprise, now I've got mine, okay? Hey, I'm ready. All right, now I'll tell you what, we're going to finish up the Love Shack with a couple other guests, and uh, you're going to hear from here in a second, so... uh. Tell you what, they come on in and uh, bless bless our present. Bless, <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied again. Give us a bless, bless our bless their present. Whatever, just come on in. Don't bless me. <laughs> I don't need bless us presents. with their presence. That's it. I, I got it right. See. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are I don't you? Need All right, Charles. Hey, uh, the Johnny Weather. There you go. Yes, sir. Hey, hey what's up, buddy? Glad to glad to. Wow, this is a star spangled night. <laughs> Got the Clone Master, we got uh, Rich Heck Bar, just had to, my Iron Man. I doubt the Coalition show up now. There you go. <laughs> I wish they would. 
He had me tongue tied. I was so surprised. I didn't Bless mean. us with their presence. I got it now. I said it twice. There you go. There you go. Now you're you're here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. And you're gonna let us know what the reason is. You know, Vic Vic uh he's been hanging out with the coalition here, here lately. <laughs> I've been you know, the SOL's coming back into the picture all of a sudden. SOL slash Wrecking Crew. Wrecking Crew, Gators with them. So, without a shadow of a doubt, I figured if SOL has the Wrecking Crew and Vic has his his band of merry men, on April 20th, I give to you the resurrection of the Rich Revolution. Oh, resurrection, oh, Rich Revolution. What do you think about that, Charles? Everybody. And I promise this will be a different revolution than before. <laughs> More t-shirts? More t-shirts. <laughs> Absolutely. Buy the shirts. Okay. That's, that's not it. That's I told, not it? I told everyone to have a major announcement this week. Okay. Hey, can you give us a clue who's going to be in it, Rich? You'll find out on April 20th. All right, buddy. Well, that's good yeah. enough. I, I will send well, it. Well, let me ask something. Johnny, will you, will you listen to Rob? Or will, did you yeah. have a chance to hear that? Or? Well, I heard what Rob had to say, and I, I will throw an open invitation to <laughs> Rob Conway to be a newest member of the revolution. Well, I'll tell you what. He just might take you up on it because he told Al and I, you know, he said that. Hey, man, well, I will be back May the 25th, I think it is, and he said, the thing on my mind is I want some of the coalition, so hey, send that out there, baby, you'll probably accept it. Well, this is getting better than a minute, Albert. <laughs> if you think that's good, major announcement. Uh-oh, go ahead. You know, I was sitting there, and, and we were talking about this the other day, and, and I was watching wrestling from a fan's point of view. Fans hate seeing the outcome in them disqualifications and countouts. Yeah. And fans come to a wrestling show because they want to see wrestling. They want to see action. They want to see fighting. <laughs> so, I see blood. Oh, there's going to be blood. Oh, oh there will blood. be blood. There's going to be blood. Good. That's a new movie, so, part two. <laughs> oh, the blood will flow, I promise you that. Yeah. So starting April the 20th, from here on out, in every single match, there will no longer be countouts, and there will no longer be disqualifations. Okay. There's a straight-up winner in every single match starting April 20th. Wait, they got that, you know, buddy. Huh? What do you think about that? I don't know. It got pretty cool. Oh, it's going to be something. It, 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 it's, there's got to be a winner, right? There's got to be a winner in every match. There's got to be a winner. I love it. I love if, it. If, if, they can't, if they can't win, you know, like <coughs> Pinfar submission, there's a, other places higher. McDonald's. McDonald's on Main Street. Buffalo Wild Wings. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Buffalo Wild Wings is, is looking for a greeter. <coughs> It's, it's Let go, me it's, ask it's, you something there, Johnny. If, if that happens, what about interference? The referees will have some kind of uh, some kind of play a little bit. You know, if, it, if it's above and beyond what needs to be they done. They gotta count one, two, three. You know. Okay, okay, I understand. If they gotta count that, okay. Extreme <laughs> cases, you know, they they can uh, adjust the rules as needed. Okay. But you know, with I have the coalition, and of course Chloe will have. And uh, you know, everyone seems to have a group watching their backs now. So, so uh, I don't think air fresh would be too big of a problem. There you go, Charles. I got a hatchet. Too. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, man. I never thought a few months ago that I would like to hear the words "The Revolution is back." But guess what, Al? What's that? I'm glad to hear the revolution is back. I want these little skinny pencil neck <laughs> geek punks, these little cheeseburgers running around, especially that little short, sawed off field mouse, Darren Flynn. And Nick Iggy, I see, yeah, well, I ain't gonna say. I think he's changed his name to Nicole after looking at his Facebook page. But, anyways, you know, I'm glad Johnny it. Richards has, has got the revolution, man. You don't know how, how tickled I am about that. And I'm also go. tickled to see. And Chloe's by his side, and I'm also real tickled that the Iron Man's back. So, you know, I, I try to be nice and clean out here, but Johnny, will you do me a favor? Yes, sir. Kick Vic's ass and the coalition like their asses have never been kicked before. There Kick their go. asses to the moon, my brother. I probably haven't seen anything yet. I promise. Oh, I, 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 promise. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. But tell you what, April 20th, uh, April after, Matt. At the Metro Sports Center, 5820 Metro Drive, near Amazon, Indiana. Bell time, 7.30 p.m. on a Saturday night. Are you going to sit? The Rich, <coughs> the Rich Revolution. I can say that now. I can say that now. We'll, we'll, we'll make their uh, return. <coughs> and uh, it's going to be a first blood match with uh, Johnny Richards, head of the Rich Revolution, going against uh, Victor Bruiser Lewis. And uh, fans bring the weapons, first blood match. Fans bring the weapons, first blood match.
Just don't, just don't bring glass. Just don't bring glass. Just turf and there's turf <coughs> out there. Everything else is cool. Oh. Or guns or knives, I guess. Okay. Hey, Johnny, am I, am I allowed or am I allowed to bring a, a weapon or is that, that not cool? Absolutely. <laughs> bring anything you want to bring. The more the merrier. Albert, I think I got an idea. What's that? I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh. Okay. I know I know how you are on them I'll tell you later ideals. I, I guess well, Al, you know what? Myself. You're going to be the man that can pull this off for both of us. Okay. All right. <laughs> just just let me know. I'll be rock and rolling and ready. Okie dokie. So like I said, you know, you got the first blood match. Uh, the Rich Revolution is back. You got tri-state title with Bobo Brazil Jr. as a champion. He's been champion for that for a long time. My husband. Going up against Clint Compton. You know, I like uh, Cliff. Domino. Domino. He's like tough. Cliff. He's tough. He is. And uh, also, we got the uh, women's match. Crazy Mary Dobson is making her uh, NFW debut against another one, a newcomer, uh, Athena. That's going to be something right there. Athena out of Dallas. Uh, Mary <clears throat> Dobson, a product of Pondo. It's not as good as a product of John Richards, but still a good product. <clears throat> oh, it's going to be something. I mean, then we got the, the Flash Flanagan and Magnus Return, Dangerous Doug Gilbert. DG. He was a member of the Revolution. That that kind of makes me wonder now. Flash was, too. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. It makes you kind of wonder, like, mm hmm They're going to get J.P. Lightning and uh, Sebastian Harris. And, uh, yeah, I ain't going to say nothing about him. You can't say nothing good, don't say nothing at all, right? Right. There you go. Can I tell a story about Sebastian? <laughs> then you got Gator McAllister taking on the Madman Pondo himself, the hardcore Gator, icon. Gator. And I tell you what, he, he was great last time he was here. <laughs> then you got SOL, the Wrecking Crew slash SOL, taking on the three members of the coalition. I'm sure you'd be rooting for SOL for a first time in a long time. But <coughs> the, if, if SOL you know, can't get the job done, then maybe the revolution take care of SOL and the coalition. Well, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure they're tough. They're tough. They're a tough group. So. Yeah. Then we got said we got other matches. We've got the unification title with the Brandon Espinosa and Ace Hawkins, the No Limits champions, taking on... The River City Saints, Tempest, and Johnny Whiplash, who were members of the Rich Revolution, too. They were members of the Revolution at one time. For the NFW Tag Title and No Limits Title combined. Dyer and Flynn was a member of the Revolution at one time. He, yeah. No, oh, don't do that. <laughs> Everything's going good so far. But we got other. You got Canadian Kid going to be there. You got... Uh, um, hello, you have Chloe. And Chloe's going to make her return there also. Can't wait to see it. And you got you got some fans out there now. I do. I got I got a lot of fans. You got a lot of fans out there. You got a good fan base. Uh, Rowdy Red. Did 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 pork 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 pig? Jose Kane making his return also, and and Tebow and more. I mean, I tell you what, this you we know good, it's getting. What's that? We got a good show going on. Oh, it's 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 getting better and better. Jo She's you know, the eight person and, you know, there's not a every match. You know, there's got to be a winner. Fans bring the weapons, first blood, tri-state title, unification title, women's match. Um, Chloe's uh, an eight-man tag. Chloe's an eight-man tag. Well, it's not eight-man. Well, well, three eight, men and one woman. Well, three seven men and one woman. <laughs> there you seven, go. Eight-person tag match, right? There you, there you go. go. Chloe be making, making her uh, sure. turn in an eight-person tag match. She's teamed up with your boy, Al. Oh, you're going to team up with... The Canadian kid. Yeah. The Canadian kid. Yeah, all right. There you go. And Chloe, Canadian kid, and the Kings was here last time. We wrestled. Oh, they they were good. They were good. Uh, yeah. Taking on the team of Chris <laughs> Norte, uh, Benny Bray, Josiah Kane, and a mystery partner. And a mystery partner. Oh, if you. Well, I can't wait to find out that too. But I tell you, there's <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. I tell you what, Charles. Uh, what do you think about all the action going on right now? Oh, I think it's great, man. We had a great show. I, I, I like these double hitters like that, man. Oh, yeah. It's it was really a good me. surprise to hear Johnny Richards show up and have <laughs> Chloe with him. That's always, always a good, good sign there. And I'm glad to hear really about the revolution coming back. Yep. It's great to have Rob back. But you know what, Al? I'm going to get talking to you. I got an idea on this fans break a weapons match. What's that? I ain't telling you. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Again, like we said, no, we just, focus you said, you Johnny Richards will love it. <laughs> I, I do like weird things. <laughs> you know how twisted I am, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like I said, new Focus Wrestling presents April Aftermath, Saturday, April 20th, bell time 7.30 p.m. at the Metro Sports Center, 5820 Metro Drive here in Amazon, Indiana. Uh, like I said, you got Tri-State title, you got the Unification title, you got a women's match, you got eight, 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 eight person tag match. You got the first blood fans bring the weapons match. You got the hardcore icon kind of make, coming back to take on Gator. You've got then the you special got referee, huh? The special referee. Oh yeah, yeah. Then you got the six man tag match with special referee 
Big Al. Big Al. There you go. I love it. <laughs> and you got many more. Like I said, Doug Gilbert, Flash Flanagan, J.P. Lightning, Sebastian Harris, Iris, Iris, whatever. I got a story about and Sebastian. And many, many more. What's that? I got a story about Sebastian. Can you say it, or is it kind of like bleep, bleep, bleep? <laughs> Just keep it to yourself. <laughs> we wait until we turn the tape off so you can tell me, then I can post it. Okay. All right, hey, Charles, I tell you, is there anything else you want to say without a bleep, bleep, bleep? Yes. Yeah, my phone's dying on me, dude. Uh, I just want to say thanks to Johnny and Coy, thanks to the Iron Man, and thank you for giving me a chance to go out and, and a little sign up like that. <laughs> Want to welcome everybody April 20th. Get your tickets quick. Mama Rich has got them ready to go. They're hot right. off the press. She's always bringing fine talent to us, so we'll see you guys April 20th. How about that, Albert? That, that'll work. You got anything else you want to say? Yes, quit posting stuff on Facebook. It tells me I'm going to win a free iPod. There you go. All right, Charles, I'll tell you what. You spread love once already. You want to do it again? You know what, Al? What's that? I'm going to, hey, Chloe, you there, sweetie? I'm here, Charles. I'm going to lead it up, and I want you to spread the love for me. Will you do that? Spread the love? Yeah, I'm going to do the other part, and then you just spread the love with me. Will you do that? I, I will do it with you, Charles. All right, sweetie, here we go. Just remember this, NFW Nation, don't fight amongst yourself. These are fighting to us. All you got to do is spread the love. If you see a faded sign at the side of the road that says 15 miles to the...